Okay, today we'll be looking at the Donaldson oil filter, number P169071. And I got this at Diesel Equipment Inc. for $15.47 plus shipping. But you may be able to find this cheaper somewhere else. So let's get started. This is a network. You gotta glue the silicone, the next pipe, get your inner ear, filtration, and you Okay, let's open her up and see what she looks like. She comes wrapped in this plastic, which I already opened up. This is nice. Keep everything sealed up nice. Let's look here for a date code. It's hard to see. But it's 19059-1824. Made in Mexico. If you can't see that Mex made in Mexico... See it down here somewhere. Right here. Made in Mexico. She has eight inlet holes. Metal core with louvers. Bypass valve down below. Nitro rubber gasket, which comes off real easy. And a good amount of threads also. It's a big filter. Oh. Yeah, let's cut this filter open. And see what's inside. Yep. Coil spring. Let's get her weight. 578 grams. Wow. Base plate weighs... 173 grams. The base plate looks pretty good. Good amount of threads. Good amount of holes. Gasket sticks up pretty good there, so it should make a good seal. Any drain back valve, we got nitro rubber. But it's got a good spring to it. It fits on the base plate pretty good, too. Yeah. Covers up them holes nicely. Yeah, that's all nice. Okay, the filter element. Weighs 273 grams. Got a metal crimp seam. And I counted 52 pleats. And it's a synthetic filter media with a micron rating of 99% at 22 microns. Metal end caps, they're a little sloppy with the glue in some spots, but not too bad. And bypass valve down here with a setting of 10 PSI. And this is some pretty tough stuff. I'm pretty sure this is wire backed. Yeah, it's, it's a nice filter media. Let's look at the rest of the filter. We got the coil spring, which you saw in action. Let's see, weigh 16 grams in the can. Can weighs 111 grams. See how thick she is. 0.48 millimeters. That's good thickness. It's a big can, so it's got some little give to it here, but 0.4 to 0.5 millimeters is about average. Three point six eight inches wide. Yeah, so I say we uh see how long she is. Be right back. Okay, here she is stretched out. And she's seventy three inches long. Zoomed out. A lot of filter media. Okay, and here she is at the seam. And I got a little sample here for a measurement. Point 
0.68 millimeters a little less than the average average is about 0.8 this stuff is soft stuff you can see the backing on here and it tears really easy because this is just synthetic fibers but it, you know it's just nice and soft yeah it's a nice soft filter media by itself it, it would it would probably tear seems held up really nice after cutting it now let's look at the rest of the filter yeah without this metal backing a lot of metal backing here without that it would definitely tear but you know this stuff prevents it from tearing well you got this it's all metal it's nice and strong bypass valve down here nice steel coil spring this one's pretty stiff good size too you know the anti drain back valves these are probably mounted more vertically anyways like this so I don't think they do much but it is what it is here but this all looks good so what do you guys think about this filter please post your comments down below don't forget oil filter Friday I open up a new automotive oil filter every Friday on this YouTube channel so if you like this video, please hit that like button. Thanks for watching and take care. The filter media weighs 32 grams. The metal screen backing weighs 118 grams.